Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about Top 3 Best DSLR Camera Starting at number 3 Canon is Rebel T7i body. The Rebel T7i may be going on 2 years old, but it remains Canon's best Rebel. Built around the same sensor and autofocus systems as the more expensive as ATD, the T7i packs a serious punch for an entry-level camera. In our review, we found its 45-point viewfinder autofocus easily kept pace with planes competing in the Red Bull Air Race while the on-sensor dual-pixel autofocus worked just about flawlessly for video and live-view shooting. With a 7 frames per second burst rate, it also won't have any trouble keeping up with your kid's little league game, and in such burst shooting scenarios, you're likely to get some 2000 photos out of the battery. One of our few complaints about the camera is the lack of 4K video, a feature that found its way into the newer Rebel SL3, albeit with some pretty big limitations, but we still like the T7i as a budget video camera thanks to the aforementioned dual pixel autofocus. As with the 5D Mark IV, this means video is simply easier to shoot, and that can lead to better results. The T7i isn't Canon's least expensive Rebel, but it is far and away the best. If you're in the market for a low-cost camera, consider stretching the budget for the T7i over the base D7. We think it's well worth it. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Canon S5 D Mark IV. The Mark IV is the latest member of the legendary S5 D family and one of the best Canon cameras. It has a familiar design and control layout, great image quality and the best performance the series has ever seen. Besides a newly developed 30 megapixel full-frame sensor, the 5D Mark IV uses a 61-point viewfinder autofocus system and Canon's dual-pixel autofocus in live view. This is a DSLR that focuses as quickly in live view as it does through the viewfinder, removing a big pain point common to other DSLRs. Even in the dim light of morning and evening, we found the camera to focus very quickly, whether on the go or in the studio, the 30MP full-frame sensor provides great image quality with more than enough resolution for most tasks and a respectable maximum ISO setting of 32,000. The body is fully weather-sealed and built like a tank, making the 5D Mark IV an investment you can count on for years to come. As it approaches 3 years old, photographers are likely wondering if a replacement is on the horizon, but for now, the 5D Mark IV remains the Canon to beat. And number one of this list. Nikon D850FX format. The D850 is why we still love DSLRs, even as mirrorless cameras have surpassed them in some ways. Nikon packed this camera with so many features that it's the most versatile DSLR you can buy. The 45.7 megapixel full-frame sensor should satisfy a wide range of photographers and 4K video at 30p makes it attractive for hybrid still and video shooters, too. Where the D850 really shines is its autofocus system. With 153 points, it offers a level of accuracy not be seen in DSLRs before. Combined with Nikon's excellent 3D tracking in continuous autofocus mode and the ability to shoot up to 7 frames per second, photographing moving subjects is easy. This is one area where Nikon's DSLRs remain ahead of its mirrorless cameras. Of course, what it really comes down to is image quality, and here the D850 is at the top of its class and shows no signs of aging anytime soon. Beyond resolution, the sensor produces excellent dynamic range and very good noise performance up to a maximum ISO of 25600. Nikon pulled out all the stops in creating its flagship full-frame DSLR, and we're still impressed two years later. All of these items are available on Amazon.com. I have included all the links in the description. You can check out these links for latest price. Guys thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. Share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe.